Greetings and welcome to another video in the Voice Tech and News series. In today's episode, we're going to look at adding some sound responses to the commands you've been making. Now, there's two ways you can do this. There's a text-to-speech or TTS, and then you can use pre-recorded sounds. I mean, you've either recorded yourself or you know someone else has recorded for you. So let's get started. So we're we'll going to a command we've made before. This is the lower and raise the landing gear command. And at the moment, we've got the TTS in there. So if I do the preview. The gear is down. You'll hear say, the gear is down. That's my TTS 4SX called iPhone 2 Amy, which is a paid for one. Microsoft Windows does come with a couple of default ones, which are these ones here. And if I play the sound. The gear is down. It's not that good, is it? Let's be honest. It's not great. I mean, it will do, but um, yeah, it's not particularly good. Now, you can make some changes to this. You can use filters to modify the sound. So, if we have a, a listen, we can do it here under the effect sets. This is one I made earlier. This is test. So, if I now preview it again. The gear is down. It's lowered the pitch down a bit on this one. If we turn it off. The gear is down. Yeah, so all you do is we can go in here. And then this is the one I'm messing with. And all I've done is a pitch shift just by a little bit. Maybe we can move it up a little bit, maybe. Preview. That one there. Sample text for preview. That's just sample text, which is there. So, And then we could add more things, maybe. We could say add another effect. So let's do. Let's do a bit of a phase. Sample text for preview. That doesn't sound too bad. What else can we add on to here? You can go crazy if you want to. Sample text for preview. Sample text for preview. But there you go. You see, you know, by messing around, you can drastically alter the sound of the TTS. So if we then go back into the actual sound. The gear is down. Okay, so that's without anything on. And if we add the effect set. The gear is down. We turn this up as well as so we can hear it better. The gear is down. Compared with. The gear is down. You know, it's, you can make it better. The gear is down. And if we go back to the paid for TTS. We'll do a before and after. The gear is down. Paired with. The gear is down. So yeah, you can have a bit of a play with that and um, get some interesting effects. So we'll leave that off for the time being. So in here, you can type in pretty much whatever you want to. Yeah, there are some odd words which can you know, sort of you know, trip up a TTS. It's one of those things, if it doesn't sound quite right, you might have to experiment with it and see what you can do. The paid TTSs I use are from Ivona. Um, they're not exactly cheap. I think they're around about 35, 40 quid. Uh, there's, you can also get some from another company called Surproc. I'll put both the links in the description of the video below. So in here, as I say, you can type in whatever you want. Now, at the moment, we've only got one response. If I want to do multiple responses, I can separate each word or phrase with a semicolon. Now, when you do the preview, it will pick one at random. If you've only got a Gear few responses, down. you might hear the same one multiple times, but it will play at random eventually. Gear deployed. The gear is down. Gear down. The gear is down. Gear down. Gear down. The gear is down. Now, the really neat thing is you can actually put a variable in there instead of just text. So it could be a text variable, an integer, a decimal, a boolean, whatever you want. And then we're going to try, um, if we do txt, which is the text variable, hold on, yeah, down, close squarely bracket. Now at the moment, it will say not set if we preview Not it. set. Because we haven't set it anywhere. So if we okay that for the moment, 
okay that command and we go a new command up temporarily and in here we want to do that text variable which was gear down and then what we can do is this okay that okay that okay that and apply it if we then execute that command to set the variables we can go back into here and so now if we do gear preview, down gear down the gear is down gear deployed gear down so we've replaced the text to speech with a variable instead So what we can now do is we can, if we ever wanted to change that, we could change it in here. We could add another one, uh, or if we delete it completely. There you go, text can be set in a variable. So now whenever we execute this command here, it always updates in here. Text can be set in a variable. There you go. By using a variable instead, needed it in that one spot rather than have to go into every single command where you might want to change it. That one there, we could then have that as a different another variable, and then so on and so forth. And then all you do is you have a series of those in here, and you've got them in one big list, which can make things easier. The other thing you can do is. If you don't want to do TTS, what we'll do is we will um, we save that one for the time being. You can also play back pre-recorded sounds, such as a WAV file on MP3. So if you go into Other and then Sounds, and you can do either a player sound or a player random sound. Both are primarily the same thing. One is just playing a single file, and one is playing random files. If we do player sound, we get this little diagonal pop up. And if we click on Browse Sounds, it takes you by default into your Voice Stack Sounds folder. This is someone made earlier in the best Blue Pleater fashion. So we go A Game, Landing Gear, and then she's um, Gear Down. So I've got three files in here. Let's do that one now. And if I do Preview, there you go. Now with this, you can't alter the effects on it. The effects are only available on the TTS side of things. You can change the volume and the balance. So if we go all the way to the right. The landing gear has been lowered. Go all the way to the, the left. The landing gear has been lowered. The channel there is whichever audio channel you want to broadcast out on. So mine's on the default. But you can change it if you want to. Then you can also begin at a position or end at a position. So if you only wanted to you know, play from halfway in the track, audio track for some reason, you can set that there. And then you've got wait till sounds complete before continuing. So it will play this sound and won't do any others until, uh, until it's finished. So this completes all other currently playing sounds. So any other sound that's marked to wait will also be complete. So you might have a, for some reason you might have a, a couple of three sounds queued up to play. That will stop that any others from playing. And then you can do a variable for the volume and the balance if you wanted to. And then the prefetch just means it preloads that file when voice stack loads, so it's cached in memory, which can sometimes speed up things a little bit. That's player sound. If you OK that, you can see it, it pops up in there. So if you want to play multiple sounds, Go back into other and with sounds, and then you want to play a random sound. Now here you've got two choices. So you can either add new, and we can go back into here, and we can pick, you know, that one there, add it. And we can go back in and pick that one. You can add all, you know, highlight all of them, and just open there. And then we can do OK, and then they will put, appear in there. Don't forget we're going for two secs. When you add the sound, in here you can add individual sounds from a folder, or multiple folders. So we go into here, pick that one and open it. And then you've got the same thing again, volume and balance, right to completes. 
the police will play a sound and then you've got the variables for the volume and the balance. And then we can preview it. The landing gear has been lowered. And that's that done. If we OK that, we see ones appears. Now you can go in to here, click on that and then highlight everything or you can control click to highlight selective ones. Shift and click, get at the top of the list and the bottom of the list and highlight them all and then apply it and OK and then it'll let them in. Be aware that you, know, you might have duplicates in there doing that way. Let me get rid of that one at the bottom. So now, whenever this plays, it will play one of those sounds at random. Now, if you do this one here, suppress repeat, it will try and play a different sound each time. And the prefetch there is exactly the same. It loads it with the profile, loads in, device that. Again, you've got your channel there if you want to. So that's a you know, way of being selective. So you can always, you know, you don't have to have them from the same folder. You can have them from multiple folders, wherever they may be. So if you want to play a random sound from a folder, click on play random sound. And then we want to do this one here, choose, and then we can select the folder. Okay, going into here. So in this case, we want to play a sound from gear down. We select it, okay it. OK, again, and now we get the path there. Now what you can do is use variable names in the file path on both player sound and play from a random folder. If I open up another window. So when you specify the paths, you need to be aware of a couple of things. First one is this one. So VA sounds is a token that contains the default path as your sounds folder. In my case, it's that. So you always want to lead with VA sounds. If you're going to play a single file, that will be a standard path. You've got the VA sounds token, folder name, folder name, folder name, folder name, and then the name of the file. But you can change the folders to be a variable. So we change a game to be text game, text voice, and text event, and then text, and then what happens in that event. So by setting a variable in that, you can change the path. And that also applies for play a single sound file, play a random sound from a selection list, or play one from a directory. Which is quite handy, especially if you want to change the voice. Say you're playing World of Warships, for example, and you had a different crew. So you wanted a gunner, you wanted a you know, helmsman, um, you wanted an engineer, have a different voice for each one, and then by changing the variable name, you could change the voice. So you could give a voice command to say, you know, voice A to engineering, and that voice would then be the engineering. Voice B, you could put onto you know, weapons, and you could mix and match them and change them around if you wanted to. So it could be quite powerful um, if you want to get into that side of things, but it's not essential, obviously. So yes, that's how you can do the various sounds. You've got your TTS, which you can pretty much get it to say what you want. You know, letters and numbers, words, phrases, etc. But then you can also preview called sounds, and play them as well. Now, in another video, I'll go over how to, you, you can actually recall the audio and then manipulate it and change it and you know, add filters to it. So you can make it sound completely different to how it was recorded. So if you don't like the sound of your own voice, but you still want to recall some audio, you can do. So yes. So have a play and add some audio of your own. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, what do you think, Put them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, click the like button and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe too and share the video out. Until the next one, take care and I'll see you soon. Toodles!